Can you help out refugees if you hold a security clearance? Hi, this is Lenny Kaiser, clearancejobs.com. We had a great question come in via Twitter from Sam. Thank you, Sam, asking about the White House's new Welcome Core initiative and wondering how problematic that might be for somebody who holds a security clearance or is looking to apply for a security clearance. Basically, the program creates teams of private citizens to help refugees who are coming into this country. Um, we kind of had a similar question come up with the Afghanistan refugees and kind of as the Afghanistan drawdown was happening and we had a flood of requests and need for resources for Afghanistan refugees. Obviously, a lot of veteran service members had contacts or folks over there that they were trying to get out. Some of them wondered, hey, depending on how involved I am in that process or if I'm getting involved with somebody that I don't know potentially, um, is that an issue? There are no hard and fast rules. Obviously, foreign influence, foreign contacts have to be reported. Um, there is some some ambiguity and some even uh, discrepancy around reporting as you're applying for a security clearance along with after you obtain a security clearance. We actually did an interview with William Henderson on our site about that. Again, um, that was probably six months or more ago, so I'll post a link to that as I post this update. Um, but it's kind of worth understanding what the relationship is. In general, if you're getting involved with a program like this, um, it seems like a good idea to self-report it to your security officer. There's not a ton you can report if it's just a vague, I'm involved in this program, but I don't think it's terrible just to have documentation showing like, hey, I sent something to my security officer saying I was participating in that program. Depending on your agency, your clearance, your capacity, if they have any red flag concerns, they can present those to you. Um, in general, again, the fact that you're partnering with an established government organization on this is clearly um, kind of helps. But obviously there's some private citizen components of that. So if your relationship kind of crosses the threshold between close and continuing, you have a specific individual that you become um, in very close contact with, whether it's through this Welcome Court initiative or something else, again, just remember that yes, foreign contacts do need to be reported. This is not super different than we have folks who have security clearances who host foreign exchange students. There's a lot of different ways that you can be involved with people overseas. A lot of different capacities where someone with a security clearance can be helping people overseas. And no, that is not necessarily a huge issue for your security clearance. It is just an issue that relates to your security clearance. The main thing is just to remember offset counterintelligence. If you have a relationship that starts and you feel like you have any red flag concerns coming up, um, just being aware of those and reporting those. Um, but in general, if you hear about this program, you have a heart and a desire to help out, know you are not precluded from doing so simply because you have a security clearance. So obviously great to see initiatives that are helping out the refugee community, a lot of different ways to do so. Um, think about yourself, your personal capacity, your specific limitations based on your position, uh, and always just be safe and cognizant of what you share and don't share when you're involved with that program. Um, you might need to report something to your security officer. Do you need to tell the refugee program or the people that you're assisting that you work in national security? Probably not. So just a, um, a little bit of cautiousness around what you share can go a long way and then be make sure, make sure you share accurately and appropriately with your security officer any involvement you have. And with that, there's definitely ways you can get involved, help out, um, and be a hand up to somebody who needs it. So for more, visit us over at clearancejobs.com.